When I was a boy, the 12 grandchildren in my family would take turns reading the well-known poem, Twas the Night Before Christmas. We'd read along to this old black and white film my grandma Royer had. I've asked four students from Woodland Forest Elementary School to read it for us. It brings back fond memories for me and I hope it does the same for you. Here's Elliot, Alfonso, India, and Joy in an eight millimeter film made back in 1946. "'Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house not a creature was steering, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and, and I in my cap, I had just settled our brains for a long winter nap. Went out on the lawn, there arose with such a clatter. I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave the luster of midday to the objects below. When what to my wondering eye should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer, with the little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his choruses they came, and he whistled and chattered and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the curses they flew with the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then a twinkling I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and I was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkle, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His jaw little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. I, a wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod up, the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they flew like down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and all a good night. <laughs> 